Hello and welcome back to Matrixball. In this video today, we will show you how to use the alpha channels to make renders. So I have this new project here. I have this design that the holes are done, but even if the holes are not done, uh, using the alpha channels, this is something that we can avoid. Okay, so what I will start with is first just selecting and adding materials. So I will add diamonds to these stones and then I will select also the metals and I will add the material to the metal. Okay, so now if I go to the render view, I can see that everything I have the, the metals in the right spot. How I'm going to do that? I want to create a folder because in that folder there will be where I will be putting all the files. So then the only thing that I need to do is just launch the batch render and the batch render will do all the work for me. So I don't need to go one render by one render. So what I will do, first thing is I will hide this and this and I will save this into one file. First, let me be sure that I have the style that I want. So you can choose now. What I'm doing now is just a picture for the stones. And I today I like the look that the Matrix, uh, Matrix Classic is giving to my stones. So I want to be sure that I am under the Matrix Classic general style because this is the light that I am applying to these stones. So what I will do is just do a full save. All right, so now I have a full save for these stones. Keep in mind now, because we are using different channels, to don't move the scene, okay? Because we are getting what we have here. So this is the way that we are saving this file. What's next? <clears throat> Just say that you want to have another option with another stone color, okay? So what I can do is just select this stone and I will add this. Right, so now if I go to the render, you will see that the color is different. Okay, I will do the same. I will save this one. Okay, so I have the second one. I can change the name. So now in that one, I can say uh, all diamonds. I can call this one. Um, draws center okay um, now I will uh, start with the metal so I add all the metal and very important now so now I want to make I want to save this file but I need to go to the render materials and just be sure that I have the toggle of the visibility off for the diamonds and also for the stone. So for all the stones it needs to be off because what I will be doing is just um, render from the metal. And now as I did before I will save that one. I will call this one white call. And now what I will do is again select this metal and this metal and I will apply another material here. I will apply actually one of my materials. So I will go to render material, I will call to my materials and I have this rose gold and I will apply this rose gold to the metal and I will also save it. This will be the rose call. Okay, so now we have the four materials that we want for this uh, or the four, the four pictures that we want for this uh, video. What is next? We go to the render and we have the batch render. So I click on the batch render and the first thing that is asking me how many passes do I want for this render? You know that the passes is the quality of this render. Now because this is just a video to show you how, uh, 
how or what we can get uh, with the byte render I will put just 500 you can go to 1000 next thing that is asking me what dimensions do you want for this uh, for this uh, pictures okay so I will use let me see what options do I have here I will use a hundred width and 600 in height what output do you want this is also important JPEG or PNG we need PNG because we want to keep the transparency so we need a PNG that's a very important step and now the last step is browse where we have saved all these uh, files so I go I click on browse and now what I need to do is just go to my documents because in matrix wall is where I have all my projects and all the projects I have the test alpha channel I select this one I click OK and as you can see the batch render starts by itself so now from now on I don't need to do anything else the batch render will do everything with all the settings that we have set up in the command line you will see I will show you the first one then I will put the video on pause so now as you can see I'm doing the first render for the files that I have is in this folder all right so as you can see here you can see how many passes I am I have done for this picture just gonna wait that this is over and then I will show you the next step alright so the alpha channel took like six or seven minutes to do the four pictures uh, let me show you what I got there you go so here as you can see I have for each a file that I have saved in that folder I have one picture right so one two three and four and as you can see because the alpha channels I have the transparency I have uh, the, uh, the render with the diamonds the render with the rose uh, center stone the render with the white gold and the render with the rose gold okay so what I'm gonna do now is use this in photo and you can use it in any uh, photo editor software I will be showing you how to make it uh, just with a couple of different softwares that are actually for free so the first one that I will use is the one that you have in your windows that it's called the paint 3d alright so this one is more limited but let me show you first what you can do with this one let me turn it on I will bring it here I will create a new one and now what I have to do is just go to menu insert and now I will go you see into the documents matrix call projects and where we have the test alpha channel and now I will select what I want so I want the metal to be on top of the stones because I want the clothes to be on top of the stone so what I will do is first select the layer that I want behind that will be this one open so now as you can see I get just the diamonds and as I said you can use any of the styles that we have to use this uh, to, to make these diamonds look as you want and then I will do the same action and I will use this one open and look what do I get a very nice render with you know in what in this video I have used the same style for the metal but I can use another style if I want I can use another style and then uh, I will have the diamonds with the style that I have uh, choose and the same for the metal so now I get a very very nice render okay and you can keep uh, adding it on top so now I can go again to insert 
and I, I can set the white goal and I have it in white goal you just need to save it in just a matter of time you will have two very nice renders so you can do that with the paint 3d from windows you have it for free in your computer and another software that I like to use is also the chimp so let me just turn it on the first thing that you need to do is go to new width and height is 800 by 600 because this is actually the width and height that I choose for my render uh, for my renders I click OK and now from file I can go here to open as layers and I just need to go to my uh, documents and now go to matrix call projects and from projects I will choose the test of a channel okay and I will select the four that I need I open them and now as you can see they have been added in this right tab at the very, uh, in this uh, tab at the bottom right and this is what I get so what happens if I just hide the rose goal I get it in white what happens if I hide the rose center I get everything in diamonds all right so depending on how you want it you get a very very nice render if you you see that you can still see here see the the rows this is because probably the resolution that I have in my render but I can get rid of it and uh, nothing will happen um, what else I can do I can go for that one with the rose go okay and now every time that I want to save any of those so just say that I want rose goal like this if I want this one the only thing that I need to do is just go to file export and now I can export it with any name that I want okay I just add here um, test alpha export and I will get this render if I want it just all in white what I will do is I will show this one I will hide and I will get rid of this the layer just with a uh, delete layer and now I will just get it in white we can keep it like this I like it like this so I can do I can go and say file save as no sorry export and again I will go for diamond alpha and export so now I will have another one just export all with diamond and with a rose gold uh, shank so you have a lot of options if you use uh, this combination and you can get anything that you want very easily and I think that is something that uh, it's useful for when you want to make different options for the same model. I hope you like it and thank you for watching.